You may be wondering what happened to Ned from the Try Guys and what he did to get his former members to dismiss him from his firm, if you've been online in the last week. How did Ned from the Try Guys fare? How did Ned from the Try Guys fare? After having an affair with Alex Herring, an assistant producer for the Try Guys, Ned Fulmer was sacked from the Try Guys on September 27, 2022. Members of the Try Guys, Eugene Yang, Keith Habersberger, and Zach Cornfield, in a video titled What Happened, posted on YouTube on October 3, 2022, explained that Ned was fired as a founder of the Try Guys production company, Second Try LLC, after they discovered his affair with Alex over Labor Day weekend in September 2022. Several fans notified us that they had spotted Ned and a staff member acting romantically in public during the Labor Day weekend. We got in touch to see how that person was doing, Keith stated. Ned verified the rumors and then revealed that this had been happening for a while, which was obviously quite surprising to us. We simply want you to know that we were completely unaware of this. The revelation of all that information shocked us just as much as it did you this week. Eugene outlined how a three-week inquiry into what to do next in response to Ned and Alex's affair included employment attorneys, business lawyers, human resources, and public relations departments. Eugene remarked, We were fully aware from the outset exactly how contradictory this was to the ideals of the organization we've developed, and all of the employees here. We take this matter extremely seriously. Since doing so goes against who we are and what we stand for, we refuse to do it. Zach said that Ned had been cut out of pre-recorded films and removed from work activities with the Try Guys during the examination of Ned and Alex's affair. We promptly terminated Ned's employment and hired an HR consultant to perform a thorough investigation of the circumstances. In addition, we decided to take Ned out of our releases until the review's findings were known. Over the course of a few weeks, this has included cutting out his segment from some videos, digitally erasing him from others, and deciding not to highlight him in our merchandise giveaways, Zach stated. Additionally, Zach said that the Try Guys opted not to broadcast a number of pre-recorded movies featuring Ned because of how heavily he was involved in them. This choice cost the business tons of money. You won't ever see a few videos that we decided to be completely unreleased because of his participation, and that was a costly choice for us to make. We won't be able to get that money back, but we're proud of the choice we made, Zach stated. Unworthy Behavior on Friday, September 16, 2022, Eugene, Keith, and Zach fired Ned from his position as manager and employee of Second Try LLC once the evaluation was over. Keith remarked, We discovered that Ned had participated in behavior unworthy of our team, and we realized that we could not continue further with him. So on Friday, September 16, the three of us signed a document authorizing the dismissal of Ned as a manager and employee on behalf of Second Try LLC. For a couple of reasons, we opted not to make the news right away. The fact that the actual individuals have been impacted makes this a family issue, even if we think of it as a business issue. On September 27, 2022, the Try Guys posted a statement on their Instagram, announcing that Ned had been dismissed from the group after a week and a half. The Try Guys no longer employ Ned Fulmer. We do not see a road ahead jointly as a result of a careful internal evaluation, the statement said. We appreciate your help as we go through this transition, they said. Eugene noted in the video from October 2022 that the group wasn't prepared for the announcement to come so soon, since there was talk of Ned's involvement with the Try Guys at the time. Now, our team is working toward the public announcement we've always planned to make, but we realized we couldn't wait any longer because of the fast-moving rumors. Eugene stated, We were certainly quite startled and devastated by everything that happened. With this person, we had eight years to develop a brand and a business. In light of this, we are saddened, not only ourselves, but also on behalf of our team and the supporters who stood by us. Try Guys Without Ned in addition, Keith, Eugene, and Zach discussed the Try Guys' future without Ned. Zach said, Things will change here, but we hope is that inside this. Additionally, there is a chance for future improvement and better videos. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very, really, really hard. In addition, Keith said, We anticipate you have many questions right now, and we'll have more to say in the future. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the highest quality material between now and the end of the year. Once that's accomplished, we will consider the channel's future. The Try Guys then said to their supporters at the conclusion of the video, That's it. For the time being, certain things may alter, but more will come. We're just kind of working through it all day by day, Eugene remarked. In closing, Zach said, I appreciate your help. We value your help, and we're eager to introduce you to the Try Guys' upcoming new era. Who was Ned's mistress? 
Who was Ned's mistress? Ned Fulmer of the Try Guys cheated on his employee Alex Herring. The Try Guys associate producer Alex, whose real name is Alexandra, co-starred in the YouTube series Food Babies with senior editor YB Chang. The show is now an offshoot of the Try Guys, Food Daddy's film, in which Ned and Keith created eating bids. She's also listed as an associate producer at the Try Guys production firm, Second Try LLC, on Alex's LinkedIn profile. August 2020 saw her elevated to the position. In August 2018, she joined the organization as a production manager. Prior to that, Alex worked for BuzzFeed's branded division as a production manager for the Try Guys. She also had positions as a production coordinator at DNA Inc. and Lock and Valentine. She earned a Bachelor of the Arts in Communication and Media Studies from the University of Hawaii in Hilo in 2014. In 2009, she also received her diploma from Stevenson Ranch, California's West Ranch High School.